now we're riding in a car through the streets of New Orleans and it's pouring down rain. Rose ain't nothing but streams. And he's looking out the window. He turns to me and says, he says, welcome to the quagmire, son. Then he shakes his head. And he goes, I started writing these songs last spring just as the political season was getting underway. I clearly plugged into some aspect of the collective unconscious. I mean, you can see shadows of Donald Trump in the song, Another Old Bull Peeping in a New China Shop. He's got to feed the beast. The beast never stop. I he's another old bull peeping in a new China shop. The song I Might Be Wrong is a vision into the heart of what's happening right now. The past ain't what it was and the future sure ain't what it used to be. Now I might be wrong, but it sure seems to me The past ain't what it was, the future ain't what it used to be Everywhere I go, I hear people say Man, you should have been here yesterday the song Picture Him Happy is French philosopher Albert Camus' advice to modern folks trying to deal with the absurdity of their situation. You can't change what happens to you, but you can always affect how you feel about it. Trying to find some reason in a world that don't care, but the rock don't talk and the hill don't share. You got the picture. You got to picture him happy. You got to picture him happy. So that's the picture, but here's the frame. I was thinking about Mose Allison. He'd been off the scene for a couple of years and I'd been checking in with him from time to time. The song Too Much Too Late kind of recalls some of the things he said to me over the years. The song Big Brother is one of the very first songs he ever wrote and the song was, well, that was one of the last songs he ever wrote. His music and his philosophy was an antidote to the cynicism and self-regard that makes the air so hard to breathe these days. In a way, I wanted this album to be a gift to him, or a tribute. Unfortunately, we recorded it before he passed away. I workshopped these songs with my guys in Madison over the summer and then immediately went to Brooklyn and recorded them with some of the baddest cats around. Live in a room, old school, often no earphones, no red lights blinking. Everybody on this record walked to the studio, except of course Will Lee, who made one of his rare appearances in Brooklyn for the occasion. Actually, one of the few Will Lee sightings ever in Park Slope. Mose used to say he wrote three kinds of songs, slapstick, social comment, and personal crisis. I guess the same could be said about this record. Only today, all three are pretty much the same. Anyway, picture me happy. You gotta picture him happy. <laughs>